Socratic.com. It gives teachers a rare chance in the classroom to say, turn on your cell phones. And um, we also use their newer beta version. It's a free web-based tool uh, for gathering instant data from any student who has internet access. So in most cases, students had phones that could access the internet, so we had them use their phones. We also had a supply of iPods and some laptops on hand for students that didn't have a, uh, a device they could access the internet. Uh, one of the great things about this is very simple to set up. Um, students don't need accounts or pre-registration or memberships. They simply enter a predetermined room name. So in our case, we set up Red Blue, and uh, and then they're prompted to enter their names, which saves the teacher any of that any of that painstaking name setup. So our first experiment with Socrative was an attempt to improve on an, on an activity that's used in many language arts classrooms that could be called daily language review or daily oral language in which students are correcting mechanical or grammatical errors in a sentence. Well, we took those and we used Socrative to set up a, a short quiz where we isolated particular errors in language and then had students enthusiastically participate and respond to this. Um, as I mentioned, the, the real power of this tool is the instant data that it aggregates for the teacher. So in a matter of seconds, we can get this report back and gives us all kinds of uh, options here. So you can see in this short five question area, green being correct answer, red being incorrect. Question three, which is a question about capitalization of proper nouns, most of the students got that question correct. So we don't need to waste time in the class addressing that. But you can see questions one, four, and five, which were about common usage and quotations, there are a lot of struggles there. So that's an area where we need to focus. Or specifically, what we did was some strategic grouping, because um, this was in Andy's class, and um, <laughs> had, uh, I, uh, we, we agreed to plug each other. <laughs> um, Kelly is in this classroom also, and so we were able to break students into groups and, and really target where were the issues that they struggled with. There are also some students, if you go back here, that got all the correct answers. And so rather than waste their time with another lesson on something they already have mastered, we had an extension activity for those students to learn something new independently and move forward. As we um, became more convinced of, uh, that this was a really powerful tool we could use, we tried applying it in a variety of ways. Um, another recent application, we used um, practice OAA tests where we referenced an actual paper copy of the OAA test, but we had it synced up with multiple choice responses on Socrative. So believe it or not, it takes OAA practice and makes it even more exciting for students. <laughs> um, they actually were more enthusiastic about participating this way. And again, in a report here, um, you can see we use this in the reading lab, Kristen Kelly and I, and you can see that um, most of the students, and to be honest, I wouldn't have predicted this before we did this assessment. So it goes to show the real power of this. Um, the question they most struggled with was a very literal question, but required looking back at the text. So we could spend some time talking about how important that is. Um, the other issues we used to make strategic groups and to focus station work over the next couple of days. Um, Looking back on the ways that we've used that and thinking about how we continue to use this, I think we'd all agree that um, a real power of this was just the speed and simplicity. So with just a few minutes of class time, you can um, use a tool that's very engaging and relevant for students. Um, it produces organized data immediately, very valuable for progress monitoring and also for differentiation, which is the real power from this. Um, we used it in a variety of other context and lessons, fact versus opinion. I know I used it with um, some of our language learners that struggle with that particular issue, word roots, OAA practice, uh, pre-debate unit survey, subject verb agreement, um, language learners, what kind of background knowledge do they have about a topic, so a wide variety of applications. 